lovely people and it is Felicia and I am back again with another video today we'll be talking about hair again I'm coming to you with a different look not my afro no makeup and my glasses I hope you like my bare self um just as much as I do so let's get right into it today we will be talking about 10 annoying things about being natural and I thought of this idea because I'm like you know what being natural is cool, but there are some things that I absolutely just dislike about being natural. Um, and it's not necessarily like horrible things. It's just they're annoying. That's it. <laughs> they're just they're just annoying things. So with further ado, let's get right into it. So number one, and they're not in, sorry, they're not in any chronological order or from worst to least. They're just listed as I thought about them. So let's get into it. Number one. The first one is my hair gets stuck in my earrings all the time. I hate that so much. Like whether you're in the shower or you just have an afro, let you have a hoop on and one of those curls curl around that hoop. It's like, uh, you know, try to take it off and it's all stuck, especially in the shower, dude. Like the hair just wraps around the um the stud or the stud, yeah, because I don't wear hoops in the shower. The stud, and it's like, you got to take the earring off to put it back, and then you might drop the back, and then you might drop the earring that you paid a lot of money for, and it might fall down the drain, and then you cry, and then I'm not going to be natural anymore because it pissed me off. Like, it's just annoying. So, I just wish that it didn't have to happen. Obviously, I could fix it in the shower, just not wear jewelry, but I have three holes on each side. I'm not about to take my earrings off every time um, I wash my hair. And then going out, the curly thing is just something you got to deal with. And that's why it's annoying because, I mean, we just can't change it. Number two, your forehead breaks out. My forehead breaks out so much. Especially, mainly, when I wear my afro because I'll have some curly bangs or um, straight across. Or I'll have a part down the middle and they'll be on the side. But I notice that when I do wear those hairstyles, my forehead tends to break out especially um with the hair on my face because you know it's just rubbing it's just rubbing across your forehead another reason why your forehead breaks out is because we oil our scalp or you should be oiling your scalp um every other day or very often to keep it from being dry and with that being said oil is just like trickling down you know trying to get to other places and as it sits on our forehead um you know it's just dormanting there and causing bumps and breakouts because it's clogged pores or just even from your pillow having oil and everything it just causes breakouts so let me just say that i guess it's just not the forehead like from the pillows your face breaks out that's why it's important to wash your pillowcases um i would say at least once a week because when we do put all this product in our hair it is um getting left on our pillows and then we are sleeping on them every night and we're just putting it right back on all the dirt and everything and piling up on top of each other and we just don't want a little crusty face so there's no way to prevent me from you know not breaking out when my hair is down I guess but um yeah that's annoying thing number two number three I don't know I think I might hate this one a whole lot I hate how long my showers are and let me also say all of these things do not happen to everybody it does not happen the same way for everybody so these are more pertaining to my annoying my annoyingness for me if does that even make sense just the things that annoy me from being natural if you can relate whoop, whoop, I'm glad I'm not the only one but if I am the only one it's okay anyway my showers when I wash and condition my hair is about an hour and the annoying thing about a long shower is your legs start to itch. Please tell me I am not the only one that when you are in the shower for a certain amount of time, too long, your shit starts to itch. Like your legs are itching. I don't know if it's because our skin is drying out, too much water. Like I really don't know why, but my legs itch. Like my skin is not even my whole body. It's just my legs. They start to itch. I think that is so weird um, and I know it's because I'm in the shower that long because it doesn't happen when I take a regular shower and it's a regular amount of time. It's when I'm washing my hair and I'm in there too long. It just and it 
so bad because I scratch them and then now I have these long red marks like a tiger came and attacked my legs and I just it just frustrates me how bad they itch like it literally I always want to make myself bleed because they itch so bad but then I can't get out because half my head's not done and it's just the long showers just are too much and then the leg itching on top of that just adds extra too much and I just it's just too much overall it's too too much okay so that is number three number four I dread wash day if you haven't seen my other videos you should go check them out. I will link them um, above, below, somewhere. But you will, you will be able to find them. I have a lot of hair. And it is a lot of work to wash my hair. My hair is still in transition to being um, completely healthy. I still have blonde at the ends even though it's dyed um, a darker brown. There's still blonde under there that still needs to be cut off. So I have not gotten back to like my completely natural hair color and everything um so my ends still mat up a lot and it just my hair just gets nappy like it just i thank y'all for those who think my hair is cool but my hair irritates the living crap out of me and especially when i have to wash it if i if i'm coming from like two braids like this it's not so bad but if i'm coming from an afro lord i hate it because by that time it's all dried out it's matted together um it's not even a curly afro no more it's just like a frizz fro and to wash it is a pain in the butt i literally part my hair into four to six sections every time i wash it um just to make sure i can get in there my hair also just doesn't lather with water very easily so i have to separate it um and then try to get it wet like that because if i just go under with the afro the water is going to slide right on top and right on down it does not go through unless i'm under there for a couple minutes to just lather it up but i dread wash day because it takes me so much time and i hate it i hate it y'all being natural is not easy it's not and i just want y'all to know that and it's a process so if you are natural i commend you we're gonna keep going because we want that beautiful long hair um but yeah annoying okay so i had a malfunction my camera died because the sony's suck they overheat and everything and then you can't record so that's what's happened that's why i look different it's a different day it's probably about a couple weeks later now that i'm recording again okay so let's just get right back into it i stopped at number five so number five number five is you run through products faster which means you run through money faster so if you are natural you are putting products in your hair about once or twice a week depending on how much hair you have you're using a lot more than other people for instance like me i use a couple pumps for each section and when i have four to six sections so you know i'm running through half a bottle because you know everything that's natural that's actually good comes in such small bottles like 16 ounces even eight ounces and it's like okay 20 dollars for a bottle i use use it two to three times per bottle if you're staying natural like you're going through that a whole lot and it's just annoying because no one has money to keep buying products that's why i need to get sponsors so i can get some free products because i just can't like you know so anyway that was number five number six is everything gets caught in your hair so i used to work at home depot and I would come home literally on wash day and find cable wire in my hair like literally cable wire and it's like how are you in there I you find pieces of nature trees bugs maybe I mean if they fly in there they're just not coming out you know it's just it's just no way for them to get out um and the other funny part about it is like if you have a man and he has a beard your hair will get caught in his beard. It happens to me all the time. Well, not now, but it when people have a beard, it happens to me because you like if you lay on them, the hair is like caught inside or sometimes you'll even find strands of hair in there just because, you know, curly and curly, they just, you know, mesh. And it's so funny because if you have a man, like I said, and you lay next to him with all the hair, they're like, move that shit, like get it out the way. And it's just so funny because it's annoying for them too. But 
stuff gets caught in your hair you have to be mindful you have to make sure that when you're walking under trees and stuff that you completely don't touch it because your hair will catch on to it it's just a whole mess it's a whole mess and it's annoying number seven is personally i can't really rock it after it gets old for me my hair is curly and when it dries out or it's just old i can't even put it in a ponytail like i have to use the really big big scrunchies i don't know they're like this size just because in order to like get two wraps around i have to use something that big because my when my hair is dry and it's so much of it there's just no nothing else i can do with it like i try to put it in the ponytail but the ponytail is too tight i hate it i just can't i cannot rock it after it gets old i know some people um have that issue too the other reason why i can't rock it when it gets older because on day one i have like day three hair i have so much frizz and i have not controlled it so that is why I keep having to to just wear ponytails because I can't. Like, I don't. Sometimes I'll pull the frizz off, but if I want more of a cleaner look, like, I can't do the frizz and everything. I just, it's not appealing to me. I don't like it. Um, my hair is stressful. It literally gives me a headache a lot just because it's just so much work it's so much work like i said before if you are natural i commend you and people need to understand how much work it actually is okay annoying number nine eight <laughs> number eight um you have to dedicate a whole day to your hair and if you are a true natural i mean deep conditioner making your own mask type of people you understand what i'm saying you make the mask you leave it on um for hours at a time or some people even do overnight and then you style it and that alone takes a couple hours if you air dry versus um sit under the dryer it also also if you're doing like a wet set then that's for sure all day like if you're not sitting under the dryer, even the dryer is going to take a couple hours just because you have perm rods or flexi rods in your hair in order for the all the air to get through every part of your hair to make sure it's dry because that's the only way you're going to get a great wet set, any type of style, if it completely, completely dries because then your hair will just poof. And it happens to me a lot. I have success every now and then and then I just end up rocking the puff because i'm just not dealing with it so yes if you want to be natural you will need at least a half a day if not a whole day to dedicate dedicate to your hair and you can just make it like a me day you know just from your face to your hair just chill think about you do your own stuff you know get everything you need to get done including your hair and just make it a fun day that you just are not in the world you know just be in your little bubble and just figure it out okay so now it is number nine um number nine is people always want to touch your hair like <laughs> if you're natural you can attest to this too even the black people like you know you think everyone understands like being black you think someone understands you culturally another you know another natural girl but then people still want to touch it and it's not a problem listen to me people white black mexican whatever you are it's not necessarily a problem that you want to touch our hair because you have never seen it you're not educated on it it's something that you're interested in and you think is cool i appreciate it i truly appreciate it that you think my hair is cool but i'm not a pet i'm not a pet it's one thing to like kind of like feel for the uh, elasticity or the texture or the thickness of it. But to sit there and go like this, um, no. It's just, you just don't do that. Like it literally will make us boil just because it's like annoying. Like you, we get asked to touch our hair so much that it, it is annoying. It has gotten to the point to where, you know... I just, I just say no because I'm tired of it. Like, I'm just tired of it. And maybe because I went to school with all white people and it happened so much and it was like, okay, look, these people just don't know. So, you know, you just try to be nice about it. But at certain times, it's just like, okay, I'm done with this. I can't, I can't. 
Just don't touch my hair. Don't wear a natural. Don't want nobody to say anything. But then I still want to be cool and I still want to be me. So you have to kind of find a balance um, with it because it's like, you know, you shouldn't be ashamed to rock what you want to rock just because people don't know or people are always going to want to touch it. Like, you know, just balls up and be like, nah, I'm cool. Like, you just don't touch people's hair. Um, or you educate that friend and just be like, look, I'll let you touch it this one time, but this is something you don't do. Don't walk up to black people and touch their hair. You just don't. I'm sorry. So, yes, that was number nine. Last but not least, number ten. I say that it's a full-time job just because you're always looking for products you're always looking for hairstyles you're always looking for new ways to keep up with having your hair become more healthy having it look a certain way like if you are really into it a wash and go gets boring you know what i'm saying and it just is curly every day like okay but like if you really want to do the natural protective styles find ways to be um more unique with your hair like you're always thinking about it always trying to see what can i do next how can i do it looking at other people's like okay how does she do that or how can i do something similar so i'm not copying um and just you're always trying to find a way to do it because it just takes so long and i mean from being in the kitchen to the shower to sleep like you just can't go to sleep you know what i'm saying you got to put a scarf on you got to sleep with a, a satin pillowcase like you don't use cotton it's just too much you know it's a, too much from mentally to physically it's just a full-time job it just you know and it stresses me out sometimes like my job does so they're on the same level certain days and certain days my hair is like my same place and i can just like have some peace my job is never that um so yeah it's just it's just a lot going on so that was my one through ten i hope you guys enjoyed it if i missed anything that annoys people leave it in the comment below and let me know what annoys you and let me know if you can relate to any of these i'm sure some of you can just because it just happens you know what i'm saying it just happens and we all go through it it's not an easy process it's not an easy thing but at the end of the day we have to love ourselves and love our hair and just take what it comes with that's the 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 beauty of being natural is one through ten plus eleven through a hundred whatever you guys have to offer leave it in the comments again I hope you guys like this video and look out for more. I will be doing a video on how I did these um, kind of crochet faux locks, goddess locks style. Took me forever, but I know there's millions of videos out there, but I still will post mine just, to, just so you can see. Um, and keep you updated with what's going on with my hair and everything. So yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.